hello there. Uh, let's do a rock and roll thingy uh, using guitar and bass and e drums back there and Linux. And um, let's first start by I, I will show how my recording setup is currently for you know doing these kind of videos. So system capture and playback that is my physical audio interface that is Focusrite Scarlett 8920 that's why I have so many capture ports and, and playback ports because it has so many inputs and outputs uh, everything would be the same if you have for instance uh, Scarlett Solo or something like that then you just have less inputs and outputs in the in the system uh, system uh, IO here um, so in my Capture Sound 3 is my microphone that goes through a compressor that goes to this stereo routing plugin that then just routes it for m multiple different outputs. Like the playback 1 and 2 is my main monitors. And then I have uh, two different headsets that are here on 7 and 8 and 9 and 10. Because obviously it's a mono single, so there's always two for stereo. Uh, then the compressor also goes inside this sidechain compressor. So whatever I put inside the compressor gets compressed down when I talk. So that's you can easier hear what I'm saying, even though there's something playing and so on. Uh, stereo routing plugin here is just a remnant from the past, and it's just there for historical reasons, but it really doesn't do anything. I could just put everything uh, directly to the compressor as well here. Then everything on red is MIDI. So from my uh, Focusrite Scarlett, I actually do have a food switch down here, which goes to the compressor, so I can actually control the volume of the compressor, which means that I can easily cut the mic when I'm talking like this. Now you can hear me, uh, and so yeah, it's kind of simple and easy, easy to control, so you don't get any bleeding noises uh, when I'm when I'm first playing the drums and so on. Okay, so then how we can get some cool drum samples here? Let's use hydrogen. So hydrogen is a drum machine, but it's also a very good for doing your. Uh, your drum mix, you know, your, your samples and everything, how it's how it's mixed together. So um, it already opens the pre previously used one. I just saved it as a OK mix. So I don't have any patterns here or anything. I'm just using this to produce a some sort of mix out of my drums. So let's put, now that I opened hydrogen, it's also visible here. So I can route that the output go to uh, stereo routing, like so. And now if I just, you know, try the kick, You can hear the uh, hear the kicks and so on, but now we want to link my e drums to hydrogen. Uh, so I'm just going to actually uh, set the drums on and take a look at this one here. So my drums will appear there when I when I put them on. And now it's there. So all I need to do is I just link my e drums to hydrogen, like so. And now you can hear the drums uh, when I play the drums you will see the you know the mixing thing here from the drums coming out and so on so this is how you can utilize hydrogen for uh, you know loading whatever drum kit you want and uh, you know if you use Linux there on, on uh, on your live performance or whatever, but I'm just using it here to record my, my stuff. I'm just leaving that on the background. But I'm actually not going to use it like this now. I'm going to disconnect those. I'm going to use them in Ardor. So now let's start Ardor, and that's obviously what I want to use for recording anything. Let's create a new session. I'm going to do an empty session. It's just all puts to the stereo routing plugin. And uh, then let's add drums mini line. Uh, drums MIDI. That's a MIDI track. It doesn't need any instrument. Uh, let's give it a group for that. I call the group just drums. And uh, the group doesn't have to control anything except for maybe selection and color, like that. And then let's uh, add also drums audio. That's going to be an audio track, which is a stereo to the same drums group. Then we need also lead guitar. That's going to be an audio track. Uh, configuration is mono because obviously your guitar outputs mono single. However, if you want to use stereo effects on that, we need to put the pin mode to flexible I.O. So then even though the uh, track is mono, it is, it is capable of outputting stereo single. And that's what we can do with many of the plugins. Uh, add, oh, let's not put that to drums group. Let's put that to no group. 
add and then let's also add the base um, that can have everything the same like that so now we have drums, guitar and bass here first the drums input is the E drum so I can just select it from here I can already like like show all of them here the output so the input is always up output is down the output goes to hydrogen so the MIDI track goes to hydrogen and this is the beauty of the jack audio sound system in, in Linux because you can really link different uh, applications together which basically makes your entire system a you know one door so drums mini out goes to hydrogen MIDI in like that then the drums audio the input of that is obviously hydrogen so whatever hydrogen outputs needs to go here to this uh, drums audio so we should find hydrogen from here yeah hydrogen main outputs left to left and right to right like so so now if we put also the input monitoring on and uh, can we actually have both of those yeah that's the same for here uh, so now if i play drums we should we should hear it like so okay next we need the guitar let's add gate i always use sam gate neural amp modeler impulse convolver impulse response convolver i will put the mono, mono stereo here um then my usual post effects so gx chorus so these are guitar plugins uh, GX um, digital delay and GX reverb like so fader down and then let's load a NAM model let's put like this one is kind of good I like this uh, George B George B Seriatone King Kong NAM capture boosted peacekeeper chase tone secret pre deco version 2 <laughs> And for the input response, I will load, um, let's put the guitar hacks original between where I have those. Do, 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 do. There. Like so. Then I know that the defaults of this GX plugins are a bit high, so I will put the chorus a bit down, digital delay uh, also quite down, and the reverb as well a bit down like so now we can try the uh try the guitar how it sounds and of course we need to set the input correctly so the input of my guitar is actually in my channel one in my audio interface and we also need to have the input monitoring on <laughs> that um, I haven't played that in years so I don't really know how to play it anymore but it doesn't really matter uh, let's first check the tempo so it's like uh, <laughs> is that the bit 180 really ah, I think it can be yeah, 180 let's do 180 and uh, yeah, let's just record that. So I will do guitar first, then drums, and then bass. It's a matter of preference how you want to do that, but yeah.
<laughs> yeah, it's far from perfect, but <laughs> yeah, maybe the point of this video is not how good or bad I am at playing, so yeah, just live with it. <laughs> Not sure how my how accurate my timing was there, but I think I can probably deal with that. So let's just record the drums now and, and get over with it. Again, the point is not how good or bad I am at playing, so yeah. But now we have a drum line here. So. Uh, let's put it a little bit bigger so you can actually see those. So here are all the notes that I was playing, and now I could actually like quantize or fix my mistakes or whatever, or uh, hire a better drummer. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's what we have now, so let's just leave with that. Next, let's do the bass. So for the bass, I will actually copy here the gate nam and the impulse response. Copy and paste. And then I'm just going to change the amp. So the amp is going to be now... Um, oh, there is something called JSON... Uh, JSON Z, that's a bass preamp. So I will use that. And again, uh, input is now again in my channel one and monitoring on. Like that. I will actually use a pick to play. Sorry for all the real bassists out there. Let's go with that. Oh. I really need to have a click. Okay, and uh, next, 
let's record the drums because the drums is now a midi line. Let's actually fix that because I think it's missing the uh, the first hit. Let's see. So that one is okay, but yeah, there I was playing the wrong. I think we need to let's add that there. remove that. Okay, so now we need to record the drums because the drums is still a MIDI line, so if I would export the project now, we wouldn't hear the drums at all, so it needs to be recorded as an audio line. So I will just put the recording on here and it will just, you know, record, record the drums. And that's all folks, that's how you can record stuff in Linux environment and uh, you know, utilize e-drums, guitars, Neuroland modeler, Ardor, it's really not that hard, it's actually quite simple and, and efficient to do, so uh, I encourage you all to try Linux and Linux audio sound system, but beware that the latest versions um, tend to default into something called pipe wire, uh, so that kind of replaces the jack. Uh, environment or check audio sound server, but um, it has a little bit of issues still. It's not really perfect replacement, even though it's going to be the new default even in Ubuntu Studio uh, 24.04. Um, especially using it with Kala, like like I did now, it's a little bit problematic what I have been testing, but uh, uh, I'm, I would recommend at this point staying on Ubuntu Studio 22.04 uh, but I will try to figure out, you know, I will try to test everything and figure out a good way of working also with Pipewire with the latest versions because that's anyway going to be uh, what the future holds. So Pipewire is going to stay, um, so we need to learn to use it properly. So, thank you, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video.